Alright, so I know it's dark outside, but I figured I have the food in my car already and have my camera on me, so why not just shoot a quick video? Hey, what's up YouTube, and welcome back to another edition of The Food Game, and today we are here at Popeyes to try out their brand new and improved ghost pepper wings. Yes, you put it right, they brought back the ghost pepper wings from a couple of years back and unfortunately I did not get a chance to try it that time around. Let's do the bag check real quick. We've got napkins. And we've got a couple of different sauces here but we are just here for the ghost pepper wings and I'm pretty sure you can get a combo version of this as well. It includes a drink or something, but you can also get them just as separate. I think it comes in like the 12 piece, the 24, the 36, and so forth. I only got the 12 piece here, and I think I just lost my receipt, but it doesn't matter because for these 12 wings, it was $6. So that's a pretty good deal right there about 50 cents per wing something you really don't see that often anymore i got some places they're charging over a dollar per wing again i have not had these before so i'm not really sure what to expect now they don't really look hot nor do they smell hot it just smells like regular uh, classic popeyes chicken show you one here real quick again I apologize for the lighting I'll try to get it to show a little bit better there but check out one of those low ghost pepper wings right there on the smaller side but hey whatever you can see some of that classic Popeyes is a coating right there nice and crispy I guess I can smell a little bit of the pepper, but it's not really a hot smell or anything. So here we go. We're going to give the ghost pepper wings a shot for the first time ever. Oh, that was just the breading. Got a little bit of heat coming from the back end, but not a whole lot. Well, I gotta say, there's really not a lot of heat to this at all. I would not consider these uh, ghost pepper wings. I think Popeyes, for the most part, uh, the chicken has just the right amount of breading on it. It's not that overly crispy, and then again, it's not just a plain. Got a little burnt piece on the side here. And the chicken is fairly nice on the inside. I think it was made up fresh. Yeah, the chicken is nice and juicy. But still, really no heat at all. I know the first bite had just a hint of heat to it, but 
really I mean you don't see too much seasoning on there either I'm hoping that shows up are you okay I know it's a little bit better when I put it closer to my face but then again it's further away from the camera but yeah really not a whole lot of the like those pepper seasoning on there uh, really not any at all I mean it just looks like a a regular normal uh, chicken wing you get at Popeyes and just like any other piece of chicken you would as well really not sure what's up with this one again I have not watched any reviews of this so I don't know if it was actually supposed to be hotter than this or what. Yeah, these wings are extremely plain if you ask me. The chicken is good, but I think the main selling point here is the ghost pepper a part of the title. And I gotta say, it does not deliver. Really, these taste so plain. Uh, even the spicy version of the regular chicken, it has more heat than this. I remember back when there was a time, I think it was actually after they released the ghost pepper wings the first time around, they also introduced another type of wing called the spice packed wings and unfortunately I did not get a chance to uh, shoot a video of that but I have tried it before and it actually packed some heat. Now this on the other hand, really disappointing. I guess you do get a slight, slight hint, but really, it's very minimal. I remember before shooting this video, lights went off. I was about to go grab a bottle of water, but it looks like I didn't have to forgot it's well you know what we're gonna bring the lights back all right hang on just a second hope the camera does not fall all right we're back with the lights or not I just break the light all right there we go apologize for the inconvenience there but yeah, so on my rating scale for uh, Popeyes' new and <laughs> introduced, uh, improved, wouldn't say improved, uh, even though I didn't try the, the first version of it, but uh, of 1 to 10, I think I'll give this a, a 7 out of 10. Again, I'm trying to be more critical here, and I'm trying to look past the fact that the chicken itself is good, but the main selling point here is the ghost pepper, and it's just not there. I'm sure you could use their bold, bold BQ sauce, and it would be more spicy. Yeah, I mean, even use some of their Louisiana hot sauce they have there. Because I'm sure that was going to take it up a notch where it belongs. So I am slightly disappointed with this one. The fact that there's no heat, but I guess that is kind of what you would expect. Now, if you were looking for heat, though, I would suggest you go to Buffalo Wild Wings because they really do bring the heat. And it's actually Thursday right now, the day I'm shooting this, and... Uh, hmm. Is he just going to make a turn there? 
Better watch out for my car though, bro. <laughs> Alright, so what was I saying again? Uh, I can't even remember. I'm just going to keep this uh, and edit it. But yeah, anyway. Not a, not a big fan of this one. Right, if you do want a lot of spice, I would definitely suggest Buffalo Wild Wings. And it actually is Tuesday right now, and they've got a deal going on with their uh, boneless wings. Again, these are bone in. I forgot to mention that. But I think it's like 65 cents per um, boneless wing at Buffalo Wild Wings today. So, of course, I'm not going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings because I've already got these. But these were, I will admit, they were fun to try, okay? Because I didn't get a chance to try it the first time around. Hey, I just found my receipt. Yeah, six bucks. Five ninety-nine. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this more of an impromptu, unedited uh, style of review. I'll try to uh, keep these coming. And if you're new to the channel, I've got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And feel free to follow me on social media. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video for more reviews. Go punch the subscribe button, knock it out. And as always, have yourself a nice day.